And we are back live on Friday Night SmackDown from Nashville. AJ Styles and his return to a WWE ring for the first time since June against the upstart Carmelo Hayes, the United States champion LA Knight is at ringside. This is what's at stake for Hayes, Corey. Knockoff Styles, LA Knight sees he's going to talk to the general manager to give Carmelo Hayes the United States championship match. Of course, leave it to the megastar LA Knight to sweeten the pot even more as though it needed to be any sweeter. This is Carmelo Hayes one-on-one -on -one with one of the greatest to ever step foot in a ring. The phenomenal oh. AJ Styles. What Carmelo Hayes could possibly do tonight could make all of the difference in his career. Knocking off a surefire future Hall of Famer like Styles on AJ's first night back, that is a massive potential feather in the cap of Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes tied three wins apiece in his big battle against Andrade, taking the fight now to AJ Styles, the former two-time WWE Champion. Let's we'll put the shoe on the other foot for a moment. You'd have to imagine that AJ Styles, freshly coming back to SmackDown, would love an opportunity oh. in the future to become United States Champion yet again. Again, particularly at the expense of the man who defeated him at WrestleMania, L.A. Knight. And speaking of championships, you have to wonder, Corey, what Carmelo Hayes thinks about his old running buddy. Tr Trick Williams winning the NXT championship over Ethan Page on the debut of NXT and the CW this past Tuesday night. Congratulations to everybody at NXT. An unbelievable night we all got to enjoy together. But right now, Carmelo Hayes drop kick by Styles. AJ Styles and Nashville have had a love affair over the years. It was back all the way in the year 2000, Corey, where AJ Styles debuted in this city as part of the NWA anniversary show. He won a TNA X title here, an NWA championship here, tag team titles here as well. AJ Styles loves wrestling in Nashville. I was in the building the very first night they were here in Nashville. But Carmelo Hayes now has an opportunity to really separate himself from the pack. We talked a lot over recent weeks between Hayes and Andrade and how crowded the middle of the card is right now, particularly potential challengers for LA Knight's championship. A win tonight would definitely do that for Carmelo Hayes. Well, you mentioned AJ Styles. He's a former three-time United States champion in his own right. And AJ Styles has enough respect for this industry. AJ knows he's got to climb his way back up the ladder. AJ doesn't expect to just walk in the door and receive a WWE Championship opportunity. Oh. AJ knows that the, the car, the, whoa, look out. Oh, it's Styles and Carmelo oh. Hayes. My God, cover by Hayes. Styles kicks out, but what a move by the uber-athletic Carmelo Hayes. What I was in the process of saying is AJ realizes that the landscape has changed just in a short few months that AJ's been away. Carmelo Hayes wants to bear the flag. Cover here by Hayes. Floats into the cover, and Styles gets the shoulder up. Now, AJ Styles, he has had some in-ring action over the summer. The much ballyhooed and uh, publicity-driven matchup, of course, in pro wrestling Noah. The big matchup there in Japan. Styles back in action here in WWE. We'll make no mis mistake about it. AJ Styles always keeps his skill set razor sharp, whether it be here in WWE or somewhere else around the globe. My point is, AJ was able to take a step back from the madness of WWE to recalibrate himself, to find himself, to let his body heal a little bit. After 20 plus years in the ring, you're going to have some nagging injuries, no matter how good you are. And now he's in the ring with one of the bright young superstars in WWE today. You may not like his attitude. Oh, and a Styles dropped right in front of the United States champion. Carmelo Hayes in control as our matchup continues. And we are back live on Friday Night SmackDown. Now, you notice a half crab in here for Carmelo Hayes and AJ Styles. There is a reason that Carmelo Hayes is now focused on the leg of AJ Styles. During the matchup, before the break, AJ got hurt. The doctor checked on him during the commercial break, checking his left leg and ankle. Now, as the doc went back to the ringside area, he told Corey and I that it's a possible sprained ankle for AJ Styles in his return tonight. So Carmelo Hayes focuses his offense now on the leg. And this is just terrible happenstance for AJ Styles. Just a few minutes before this matchup began, you could see how much offense AJ took to Carmelo calling him a quitter. Styles would rather drop dead in the ring than quit in the middle of a match ever again. And Styles now having trouble of course bouncing on that leg but still able to deliver offense on Carmelo Hayes. AJ Styles who looks to reforge his legacy on Friday Night Smackdown oh. as Carmelo Hayes looks to create his own legacy but AJ is in a bad bad way on one good bad way on one good leg right now. Yeah Styles who once held the WWE Championship for 371 days. Oh, oh that made it worse. The back of the neck and again the bad 
And, and that's the worst part. AJ at this point may be a danger to himself. AJ went for a maneuver. We have watched him perform hundreds, if not thousands of times, this backbreaker, the neckbreaker, whatever you want to call it. And instead of AJ's leg holding up, it buckled. This could be catastrophic for the phenomenal and one. And Charles Robinson now sending AJ to the corner. Yeah, and Styles and is calling for the bell. And, uh, it's unfortunate, but this is what you got to do. And the doc is going to head over to the ring. Uh, referee Charles Robinson saying that uh, this matchup is over after the injury to Styles' leg. Well, listen, this is the unfortunate part of our business. Injuries do happen. Ring rust may have played a factor. We talked about how AJ likes to keep his skill set razor sharp at all times, but a layoff is a layoff. Your body is going to react differently. AJ obviously was not in the same shape that he believed that he was, or at least AJ's brain and his body weren't on the same page. Let's, this is where, where we're speculating. We think the injury may have occurred. AJ coming up. Yeah, that could have been it right there. And then this is where everything went south. AJ unable to support his own weight to drive Hayes down across. And now AJ Styles visibly upset. Ladies and gentlemen, AJ Styles is no longer able to compete. Therefore, the winner of the match is Carmelo. So wait a minute, LA Knight with a BFT to Hayes drops him right on the top of his head. Well, LA Knight certainly lifted morale here in Nashville, but I don't know if that was necessary. Carmelo Hayes went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the all-time greats, a wild turn of events, but I mean, that's what this is all about. Anything can happen in WWE. Maybe he gets that shot. I don't know. Hayes gets but the victory. As close as you're about to get. So I guess that means if LA Knight keeps his promise, Carmelo Hayes is going to earn himself a United States.